Hey everybody, it's April Marie. So I told you guys that I was going to um, do a tutorial about the wet pack, dry pack. I did the wet pack. And so this is, we're gonna talk about the dry pack. Okay, what comes in it, how you should use it, what you should do in the time of trouble. So this weave is tired, y'all, she tired. Okay, it is straight quarantine up in here. Okay, so, you know, I am reviving something that is dead. This is like such a tired look right now because I have had it in for months and I'm about to take it out, like literally tonight. I'm gonna have my sister cut it out and then I'm going to, um, shampoo and start my little natural twist and all that but before I did that I wanted to give you guys a straight look tutorial I was not about to yawn yes I was but it's okay um straight look tutorial with the dry kit okay so dry pack so I'm gonna brush my hair knock out whatever tangles are probably looming around because you know, it's been a while. It's been a while, guys. We all in the same boat. Shoot. You know, y'all don't have a stylist right now. We self-styling. I'm self-styling. I put everything out except for my comb. So now I'm digging in my drawer. I'm sorry. But I'm just going to pull a little part out because I want to demonstrate the edge shaper the Lorraine hairspray, which is super light and amazing. I just did a dry point, I mean, a um, slip back ponytail, and I just kind of lightly told you guys what I do, or what I did, but I did not use the edge shaper, okay? The Finale Shine, and the top of this is all crazy, but I use it all the time. The hair glass, see, mine is almost empty. You guys, if you just purchase with me, then you're like super full and bottle still pretty and all that. All right, so let's just say you're fresh out the shower, you've done your um, antiseptic, you've done your moisture sulfate-free shampoo, you've moved on into your um, reconstructing conditioner, um, and now you're, uh, do, you did your leave-in, you blew your hair dry. So let's just say this is freshly blow-dried hair weave or your natural hair it doesn't matter okay so you have also done like a light flat iron so let's go ahead and hit that up we're flat ironing right this is this is good enough because i'm gonna put some curls in i'm gonna show you guys how the hairspray works all right so i've done that i'm gonna use a little bit of hair glass because it's a serum and when i say a little bit i mean a little okay because you don't need a lot. It's concentrated. You'll feel it. It's very nice. Very soft. Rub it through. Okay. Don't be shy. Get all up in there. And it's okay to put it on your extensions. It's not going to weigh them down. They'll still be bouncy. But the cool thing about it is it'll be soft. And they'll be. it won't be separated as if you just dump oil in your hair but it'll just have a nice texture like, the reason why i love this is because i did my slip back ponytail on sunday today is thursday and i was able to brush through my hair that first night i put a little bit of oil in my hair in my natural hair just to smooth it out but it had no problem it's not sticky there's no residue it's good okay that's a nice little pretty curl right Yes, yes. If I had an applause button, I would applaud because that is beautiful, okay? Again, just a little, so remember what we've done, okay? We put the serum first. Now we put a couple spritz of the hairspray and now we're curling some curls and I'm not gonna take you through my entire head because I'm super crazy and I want every curl to be perfect. That's just the stylist in me. I can't help myself. <laughs> Hi, curls. So pretty. 
ready. Okay. All right. So I'm actually going to curl this backwards. So this is my natural hair, you guys. This is my leave out. So I did put um, serum, but you know what? I feel like, hmm, let me protect it a little more. It's old. It's an old press. I definitely don't want any damage or any breakage. I'm going to run this through my ends just to kind of coat it. I'm going to put a tiny drop of the spray, comb it through. Remember, dolls, you can always use a smaller tube comb. It's completely up to you. And I'm just going to do a curl. And you see, I don't leave it on my natural hair as long as I leave it on the weave hair. Because what I'm not trying to do is damage my hair from heat, period. Because I'm about to do a natural set of twists, twist out, and I don't play that. I don't play heat damage, it's just not necessary. Especially with all the tools that we have in order to combat that, okay? So, let's finish this curl. I'm gonna curl it back because I'm just showing you guys some cool stuff. All right, so this is all weave hair caught up in this. So we're gonna take our time taking it out because I want it to be that on like these two over here. That's nice. Bouncy, soft, not crunchy. Can you hear? No crunch. Love that. Okay. Love that there's no crunch. I'm trying to curl 20, 22 inches. Could be a little annoying. And a lot of times I use my flat iron to curl. But everybody says, that's not, that's not right. I'm jealous. I can't curl with the flat iron. So I'm being like my dolls. I use a regular Babeless. This is a Babeless uh, curling iron. I usually use those hot tools. So I'm opening it just like you would. This one's brand new. Lord bless it. Pray, pray nothing's on it. Okay. So I took a little bit of the edge shaper. Okay. I took a little more because what I got going on is not the average. Okay. So I'm going to apply it here because I really am looking for like that look where it almost looks like it's shaved. I know you guys remember I was rocking that for a minute. It was everything. So I'm putting quite a bit there. And where did I put my little? Okay. So I'm using a small tooth comb and I'm just laying it in, okay? I am not a baby hair mama. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Even for the gram, I'm just this just not my zhuzh for real. But I am a sucker for a good, nice, pretty edge. Okay, so we can just lay that on in, and that's pretty, huh? Funny, I've never really done here. On camera, I've just done other people's hair. This is talent um, for all of my YouTubers and Instagram hair people. Take my hat off to y'all. Okay. Right across that edge. And this is a very good edge control. If used correctly, your hair will not suffer. What I mean by that is, oh, I'm looking like, like a couple million dollars, okay? So there's that. Then, now that my edges are set enough, I know you all be tying them down and whatnot. That is slick. I'm gonna take my Finale Shine. This is the end, Finale. So don't spray this while you're curling with the Hairspray, you don't need to. You've done the serum, that's a level of shine. Um, then you've done the hairspray, that also has a layer of shine. And then you can finish up with the finale. It's the end. And I'm just gonna do, let me shield my lashes, because 
you can see this product. It's like the nicest. You see that? I love it. The other thing I love about it is that it absorbs in the hair. Okay. Dang. Those are from the back that I didn't curl. Not you guys understand. I'm just giving you like a look. Just a little look. Just a little info on what to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, baby. Yes. Come through. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, I want to pull all my hair forward, but it all ain't right. See, I didn't even curl this piece. But, Lord have mercy. She killed. I do talk to myself like this all the time. Just ask about me. I do. I love it. All right, so you can bring that forward, you know, a little something. We're just playing tonight. It's it's old, guys. It's old here, but I wanted you to see what you can do with a couple minutes. You know, your hubby coming home. You trying to look like you ain't been quarantined all day. You can throw a little dry pack love on them. A little something. To zhuzh you up. Give you some fire. Okay. All right. Another little shine. I like to catch all my shine. So I find it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not lying. This is the real. And when I spray it on my clients, I usually fan it back so that it all lands on their hair. But it works. Okay. So this is like a cute little quick look. Something you can do just to kind of create, you know, this is not going to work. Let me just hit this up. Something you can create just by using the ingredients, again, and you're not damaging or harming your hair. That's the cool part. You know, at the end of the day, we want to look good. We want it to be the bomb. We wonder why we still have hair and we've been going to the same hairstylist for years. It's really because the products that we're using on a professional level can give you the look without the damage. The stuff that you can buy, the products that you can buy, stuff that you can buy out on the shelf somewhere. <laughs> Love it. May not give you, I may keep this leaf. You understand? I may not cut it out. This is everything. Uh... Those products are not going to give you this level of care. It's just not. So that's my soapbox. I'm standing on it. A firm, firm believer in the products that I'm selling to you. I think that everybody should have some because, you know, why have the damage when you can not have the damage but still have the look? You know, so hit me up. Wet pack, dry pack, duo pack. I say get them both because, you know, your stylist will be back. We're just quarantining just like you. So I'm here to inspire you. I'm here to lift you up. I'm here to um, uh, empower you that you can do this too. You know, you can work your hair at home as well and when we get back in the shop you know come get your uh your big girl slay on but shoot at home and yeah <laughs> you can rock this you can do this you can you just need the right products all right i'm done i hope that you decide let me know i'm here selling out every day for real. And uh, we can get you together. All right, dolls. See ya.